For some unlucky people, working the phones in a call center can be a hard, dreary job, and the hours just seem to crawl along forever, don't they? But you won't hear that from team members who have an amazing team leader who come up with lots of different ways to create an environment that makes every shift upbeat and fun. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Carrier, and in today's video I'm going to share eight activities amazing team leaders use to create a fun and upbeat work shift that keeps their team members pumped and motivated to do their best. I've used these activities myself in call centers I've run or consulted with around the world, and you'll find them really simple, simple to implement right after this video. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, when I upload team leader training videos and tips, you'll get notified. Amazing team leaders know that keeping team members' energy levels up throughout a shift is really important because when people are feeling energized and having fun, it comes through in their voices when speaking with prospects and uh, existing customers. This energy keeps everybody positive, which is infectious and usually translates into better performances and more sales. The first way amazing team leaders get the energy flowing and their team pumping is by playing upbeat music in the background that team members select themselves. Uh, you can also add a little competition by having a DJ of the day contest uh, where the team member who hit a specific performance target uh, play their favorite songs for a shift. Having theme days uh, for Halloween or race day uh, for the Melbourne Cup or even Mardi Gras where everybody decorates the call center and dresses up for the shift and brings in food to share is really fun for the team as well. And there are plenty of other special days like Mother's Day, Father's Day or Valentine's Day that can be celebrated and bring fun into the job too. Playing games like telemarketing poker or pass the package or quick ones like golf putting to win a prize are always popular and can be specifically tied to achieving targets within a shift. Uh, I'll be uploading a video soon walking through some of these games explaining how they work and the best way to use them to drive fun and productivity so keep an eye out for it. Or better yet, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get notified when I load it up. Uh, handing out certificates for achievements like Best Operator of the Month or Highest Producer of the Week or Most Improved are always welcome and appreciated by uh, your staff. Uh, certificates can be handed out during pre-shift meetings or huddles or during gatherings of the whole call center. And to get team members really excited throughout the shift, use scratch it cards, uh, tickets, uh, you know, as rewards for achieving specific targets like scratch it, uh, a scratch it free sale or appointment. I mean, I've seen one team leader scratch off a thousand dollars once, and you can imagine how excited that got everybody. Bring in food. Everybody loves free food, whether it's an ice cream cart or bagels, pizza or whatever, you know, and tie in free pizza for the team achieving its weekly target and watch the team go for it. And the pizza always tastes better when it has uh, come as a result of hitting a team goal. Celebrate monthly birthdays for all team members whose birthday falls into the same month. You know, simply pick a day in the middle of the month, have some cake, and have everyone, have everyone sing happy birthday. Amazing team leaders uh, also celebrate uh, members, uh, team members' work milestones and anniversaries and give them certificates to recognize these events and are specific and genuine with their prize. And although not done during shifts, have team building events uh, outside of the call center like a trivial, trivial pursuit night at the pub or go go-kart racing or simply take them out for dinner. And Aside from having fun outside of work together, these events usually let people get to know each other better and strengthen the relationships within the team. Uh, you know, no doubt there are plenty of other activities you could introduce, and if you have any questions on creating fun and upbeat shifts for your team members, just leave a comment uh, in the section below, and uh, I'll be sure to answer all your questions. And I'd love to hear the best ways you found to create fun and upbeat shifts, so just share your team's favorites in the comment section below as well, okay? Yep. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, uh, hit the uh, like button below, and if you can think of anybody that you want to share it with them, please do. And you might also like to check out my latest video, How Team Leaders Can Improve Feedback Practices, so I'll leave a link in the description section below so you can check it out. 
and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because I post team leader training videos and tips every single Wednesday and uh, you'll get notified when a new video has been uploaded okay so thanks again for watching and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you all next time